You all have hopefully seen the two versions of wash and go styling I've done on myself with the Monos hair curl collection so far, which I will link down below this video. But in this tutorial, I am going to show you a wash and go on a different texture on my friend and fellow content creator, Anissa. You all know how adamant I am about scalp health. It's hard to have hair that grows in healthy with a gunky dry scalp. So I am setting the foundation for beautiful style with the Scalp and Curl Clarifier. This cleanser is formulated to break up buildup, restore balance to scalp and hair, soothe the scalp, and begin the detangling and shed hair removal process. The formulas in the Monos Hair Curl Collection are all salon quality and strength, meaning they are concentrated and do not require a lot. As you can see, Anissa's texture is reverting beautifully as the lather from the Scalp and Curl Clarifier dissipates, removing all of the old product and environmental pollutants. Now I am going to use a bit of water on each section to reactivate the lather and smooth through to the ends. In this case, this is the only cleanser I am using. Yes, that is an option. After thoroughly rinsing out, I am going to apply the curl restoring treatment in sections, take my time and massage it through to the ends and then gently pull apart to remove chunks of tangle, but I'm not going to comb through right now. This is how you can save some time. With this much hair and texture, it would be double duty and manipulation to detangle fully in this step. I'll get back to that in the style portion. Proper elasticity is where you get beautiful style. Your curls have to have a balance of moisture and protein in order to maintain consistent shape. Day-to-day -day manipulation and just living with your hair causes loss of elasticity. This treatment is designed to prevent and restore that loss. This is not a protein treatment. It is a treatment with protein in it. There is a difference. This treatment has quinoa protein, which I chose because it's the most complete with all amino acids needed for healthy hair. After applying to all sections, I am going to have Anissa sit under my dryer for 10 minutes in a processing cap and then we will rinse out. As you can see, beautiful smooth curls. The foundation has been laid and now it's time to set this wash and go using the Monos Hair Curl Styling Potion as the base and the curl setting gel for hold. I am going to start by separating and clipping the hair into sections to stay organized. I am thoroughly wetting the section of hair, applying a little of the curl styling potion, and then using the three row comb to detangle and then raking and smoothing the potion through the section. Then I am going to smooth a little of the gel and press and separate the curls to define them. Notice I am not overly clumping big chunks of hair together, but allowing natural clumps so that the curls dry smoother. Here are some tips that I hope will help you have a better experience setting your curls. Okay, so first let's settle the name ordeal because somebody always does the well actually to me with the that's not a wash and go because you can't just go. I agree. I always felt this style should be called a curly wash and set because no one really goes after washing. There's a product setting and drying process involved, but the basis of the style is you are setting your hair in its natural texture without manipulation of shape through twisting, rotting, or otherwise. Make sure that you keep a spray bottle handy. Product spreads better with water. Wet the section before product is applied so you can use less product to avoid buildup. If it's comfortable for you, you could always put your first product on in the shower. Just depends on what you prefer. We often feel like we have to use a leave-in conditioner as the base for a style. However, you do not have to use a leave-in conditioner if you have deep conditioned with the treatment. For some textures, it can prevent your styling product from actually adhering and holding your hair. You can go straight for your styling product of choice. I recommend trying different combinations and quadrants of your hair so you can see the difference. Make sure you are fully detangling each section. 
If you leave little clumps of tangles, it is going to result in product getting caught, flaking, and just overall the result will not be smooth. This is why I chose to detangle Anissa on the product application side of this process versus during conditioning. I need the hair to be really smooth and tangle free, so there was no point in doing the detangling process twice. Make sure that you take your time. You have to intentionally apply product with tension and control of the section. You cannot clobber your hair with tons of product and expect to get a good result. You should break your hair into small one or two inch sections and methodically and responsibly apply your product. You do not see a bunch of product flinging and flying all around me. That's very unnecessary and it's a waste of your product. If you are trying to combat shrinkage, give that up and turn it loose. Shrinkage is a genetic function of your hair and if you do things to try to force stretch it, you will destroy your hair's elasticity over time and that leads to breakage and excessive frizzing. Always blot excess product away from the hair before drying. Your hair can only absorb so much. You shouldn't see product sitting on top of the hair before drying. That is what is going to become buildup on the back end. The best way to set your hair to retain that stretch that you see while wet is to dry the product quickly. Air drying allows humidity in the air around you to keep your product wet for a lot of hours and for some textures that can negatively impact the way it binds to the hair. This ceramic hooded dryer is going to keep moisture in the hair with even heat distribution. I like to allow the curls to dry about 90% or so so that the roots and ends are still a snatch damp and in this case that was about 25 minutes on medium heat. Now a lot of you will stop here and be afraid to touch your hair. Well, you have to style the style in order for the style to look like a style, you know what I'm saying? Well, let me show you. I am going to use my blow dryer to finish the style. I am lightly lifting the root to volumize without picking it to maintain the definition. I am also gently stretching the damp ends to fluff and situate without picking them fully apart. This is going to allow me to fit Anissa's hair into her shape without destroying the definition. When you have a lot of texture, you want to focus your style finish in the movement of the root, which means you cannot pile up tons of product there. If if you have highly textured hair, your roots are not going to lay flat. Let it go. If you slather product, leave it to form a cast and then go to fluff it, guess what you're going to get? More product will not give a different result. Which leads me to my last and most important tip. Stop eyeing your neighbor's grass. Your wash and go will look like your hair, not mine, not Anissa's or anyone else's. My goal is to help you have the best version of your hair. Once you wrap your mind around how your curls shape and situate, a lot of your woes and worries will go away. Total time for this beautiful, voluminous, defined, soft wash and go was just one hour from start to finish. Your curly hair does not have to be an Olympic event. If it's taking you all day literally to wash and set your hair, you are very likely doing way too much. And I want better for you. I hope these tips help and give you some things to incorporate into your routine to not only save you time, but give you healthier, more beautiful style. You can find the Mono's Hair Curl Collection in Sally Beauty stores and online at sallybeauty.com. You can find links to everything used in this tutorial and very detailed product information in the about section below this video or by visiting monoshair.com. Thank you.